What is up guys, Card Gameplay here and welcome back to another episode of the best of Modern Warfare 3 and in today's episode we will be doing the best light machine gun in MW3 and that ladies and gentlemen is the MK46. Just look at this beast of a gun, kills so fast, high rate of fire and it's just oh I just love it so much. If you guys do not have this class, be sure to put it on. Before this game, or before like today, I barely ever used the light machine guns. But after I got this class, I did some research, and this is by far, in my opinion, the best light machine gun that you can go with. Before I get into this video, thank you guys so much for the support in the last video. I got 250 likes, 250 comments in eight hours after I uploaded the video. That is absolutely outstanding. So I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Let's see if we can get to 500 likes on this video. Um, so you guys, if you guys are watching this video right now, give it a like and comment on what you guys want the next episode to be in this series. So getting to the right now, the class that I'm using is MK46 with dual attachments. And the dual attachments that I use is Grip and Red Dot, and the Scorpion Dual Wield Frag Portable Radar, Setvan Pro, Hardline Pro, Stalker Pro, Specialist Package with Quick Draw, Assassin, and Scavenger. Now, why I use Stalker in this class, which is kind of out of the ordinary for me, is because, well, I think that the light machine guns, you, you walk really, really slow. So with Stalker, it kind of gives you a little bit of extra mobility, and so with that, I love having that perk on light machine guns. But getting into the statistics of the gun, you have a, have a 100 clip size with extended mags, you will jump it up to 150 clip size. The damage is 40 damage per bullet and uh, 25 at longer range. And if you look at the drop off, you will have 40 damage at 750 feet or less. And then after that, it will be according to the distance that you're at. The rounds per minute is 859 rounds per minute, and the time to kill is 140 milliseconds if you have two bullets. The reload time on this gun is an astounding 8.67 seconds, which is absolutely ridiculously long. So I suggest if you guys are ever using a light machine gun, pop on that sleight of hand because it'll reduce it at least in half, and that will greatly increase your chances of not getting in a situation where you are caught off guard. The raise time on this gun is 1.25 seconds and the move speed with any light machine gun is 80%. Now if you look at all the statistics of the other light machine guns, you'll notice that the MK46 is actually probably the best because it beats out everything almost all of the time. But uh, that is the gameplay, I go in a 20 gun streak with this gun and I want you guys to take note of this right here. This is very, very, very important. So a lot of people ask, what's the best attachment to have on a light machine gun? And this is what it is. You have the kick, grip, and thermal. Um, those are the bullet spreads of each. And you notice how grip is actually way better than kick. So if you guys ever have a uh, light machine gun, do not put on kick. Instead, you want to put on two attachments with grip and then red dot or something else. This is because grip is actually way better than kick as you can tell. It reduces the horizontal spread and uh, keeps it really compact. Now another thing that you guys might act not actually know is that thermal. If you have thermal with your second attachment on grip, it'll actually reduce the spread even more. So if you guys want the best possible class of a light machine gun, although depending on the circumstances if the enemy does have a lot of assassin players might not be the best, but if you want the best um, decreased spread of your bullets, you want to put on grip with thermal as a two attachments and you will be golden on any light machine gun. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please do give it a like, maybe a favorite, and comment what you want the next episode to be. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right above the video. And I am Cog Gameplay, signing out. Peace.